Good morning, Mr. Murphy Fix It High students. Today for lunch, we're going to have some liver with a side of Vienna sausages because I know some of you out there like that. We're going to have some mashed potatoes and some veggies, and as well as you guys have the option to eat this salad bar if you guys are picky. That's it, guys. Have a nice day. And make sure to study hard and work hard too. Okay, YouTubers, so as you saw in the introduction of the video, me making my school joke. I got a Rowland Hella Center phone here. Recently, I finally acquired one of these. This one's actually a newer one. This one, I believe, is from 2009. It's a staff phone that I guess you apparently use in the, at least in the office. And page is really good on this. And it's nothing special. The phone's nothing special here. It's just your regular landline phone. So this is not being driven off a telecenter system. It's being driven off my Meridian system through an ATA. Not that ATA. This one's driving the UTI-1 as you heard. There's a couple ATAs in there, but it's nothing special. It's on extension 24. Same extension as this phone and many others on the system. The good old Walmart classic right there. So, there's a couple of th unique things about this phone I noticed. So, this you could take off. It, actually, inside of here, there's a button called store and a button called pause. And then there's like a socket. And there's like a little dip switch thing in there that actually doesn't have switches. I am very curious to know what those buttons do. It does make some tone noises on the handset. I don't know if it has something to do with programming these hotkeys, which I don't even know how, and I like to figure that out. Those of you that have worked with Rowland Telecenter Sisters, please let me know how the procedures go. I cannot find any PDFs about the phone on the internet, other than some warranty stuff, but that's about it. Got a nice Rowling logo there. I know, I know there's a lot of you Telecenter fans out there that drool to have this. At the time of me making this video, there are still, I believe, eight available on eBay. I'll put the link in the description if you guys are looking for one of these. $30 free shipping. I know some of these go up to like 60 bucks. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. And the page is actually really good, as you heard in the video. In fact, I'll probably turn it up for you a little bit. By the way, I took up to this Radio Shack amp, in case you're wondering. So, yeah. 26. Maybe not to dial something all the way. Hello. Yeah, see, it sounds really good. And obviously I know it has to sound good because I'm sure this phone used to page page a bunch of Rowland speakers and horns or mix systems, whatever whatever installation this was in. I know those of you drool to have that. Had my good old UTI one. This box system. This is the HA that feeds us. It's extension 26 as you saw. So yeah, that's the Rowland phone, and then I got my good old Walmart classic Lucent phone that many of you remember in the aisles, even me, or have seen featured in those prank videos, the intercom pranks. This one still works great. And even this one sounds good, because obviously this used to be used in Walmart. And look, Qualm speakers, that's right. Kind of a, a Walmart, mini Walmart set up here. Also, I'm trying to figure out these buttons here. There's no button, there's no like hidden buttons on this phone. I don't know what the sequence is on these, but that button's the only one that does something and it makes that noise. So, yeah, the speaker works. Oh, yeah, and about the speaker on the phones. This phone does not have a speaker, it's just a fake grill. So there was no speaker on this phone. I kind of wish it had one, like this one. 
It's kind of cool just to have the all power off the lead line. The ringer is nothing exciting either. Matter of fact, I'll probably call it here so you, because I know probably some of you want to know what it sounds like. So, don't mind the other phones ringing because there's a bu like I said, a bunch of them on one extension. That's really what it sounds like. And probably some of you want to know what this one sounds like too. So yeah. Those of you probably wonder what that sounds like and this sound. That's what they sound like right there. So yeah, this is what the mini phone system going on here for the well mini aircon system setup. And I'll hang that up before it starts going crazy. Yeah, interesting phone. I know I've seen this one video that someone posted probably not very long ago. It was an older Rally phone. They were making outside calls on it. I can make outside calls on this too if I dial 9. Which you might probably be able to hear it through the PBX. I don't know if you heard that click. That's the click for the Line 6 on the PBX. I can make outside calls on this. Maybe one of these days I'll have to call, maybe, I don't know, make a food delivery call. I don't know, call Domino's or something. That'd be fun. That'd be fun to do. <laughs> Order pizza on this phone. Something a little odd. Maybe in the future, maybe I might do that. And maybe make another, some other call on this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of this semi telecenter video here and stay tuned for more because i got more videos and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't yet